Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create an online store in Adobe Muse. So the first thing we need to do before we create an online store is to create a PayPal account. Uh, now PayPal is an online uh, way for you to receive payments. Uh, so to do that, you just go to paypal.com. So we open our browser and let me just uh, get rid of that there and go to paypal.com. And to create an account, you just click on uh, sign up right over here. And you can create a personal account or a business account. Um, it'll work either way, uh, whether you have a personal or a business. Uh, if you plan on selling a lot of products, you might want to go with business. Uh, but yeah, either one works, and you can kind of look at these and see which one works best for you. And after you've created your account, you just hit continue, and you kind of, you know, if I hit continue, yeah, you just go through the whole process of uh, creating your account. So yeah, you can have a business account for zero a month, or you can go with the Payments Pro. And kind of, yeah, you can just kind of fiddle around and see what the best option for you is. And after you've done that, you can now create your online store. So I'm going to go ahead and open Adobe Muse. And I've created the sample site here. So if I hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser, <coughs> excuse me, um, I added the scroll effect just to add a little bit of interest. You see the picture stays still and uh, the website scrolls. Uh, so in my store, I've added uh, a few of the social media icons that we offer, or that I offer at uh, museforyoushop.com. And basically, if you click on any of these buy now buttons, it'll take you to PayPal, and you can purchase these icons. Um, so let's say I want to purchase this pop art social media icon pack uh, one. Uh, I just click on buy now, and it'll take me to PayPal. And this is my PayPal um, email address where the payments will go to. Uh, we can see the it has the descriptions and the amount. The uh, title is Pop Art Social Media Icon Pack. The amount is eight dollars. Uh, the item number is one. The item price again eight dollars. The quantity is one, and the item total is eight dollars plus tax sixty eight cents. The total comes out to eight sixty eight. Uh, now anyone purchasing this can pay with their PayPal account if they have one or they can create a PayPal account and then pay with their debit or credit card or uh, prepaid gift card or PayPal credit here. It's a special offer there. Yeah, or debit or credit card here. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it's very useful and to set up the store actually is very quick. Um, doesn't take much time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and recreate the site and uh, show you how to add items to your store in Adobe Muse. So I'm going to go to File, New Site, uh, click OK, uh, click on this page here. First I'm going to create my uh, rectangle to add that image there that says Muse for you. And I'm going to fill it, go to Add Image, and let's find that here. And I'm going to Scale to Fill, and uh, Scale to Fit. Place it in the center, there we go, take off the stroke, and there's that. <clears throat> then I'm going to add some text, and I'm going to say online store, kind of center that, make it really big, and change the web font to monoton. And then just center this in the center, get that nice red line to show, it's, show us it's in the center. And then just kind of make that smaller here, this text box. And now uh, I'm just going to create one product. Oh, uh, yeah, let me add that scroll effect that I had added in the first one. So I just create a rectangle, kind of bring it down a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And go to fill, <clears throat> add image, um, go to image, and let's see. Uh, this one was this one here. And then scale to fill, center it, go to scroll, set the motion, and set it all to zero. So the image is going to stand still. This is the scroll motion on the image. So we set it all to zero, and uh, the image is going to stand still. It's not going to move. 
<clears throat> so the website moves, but the image uh, stays still. Let me make that a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, so now we can add our product. I'm just going to add one product. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool and just make like a, maybe a, you know, kind of a square. Um, let's see, let's put this here. And yeah, I want this to be kind of more, yeah, more of a square. So, um, you know, I created the rectangle and to change the, the width and height, I just go up here and I'm going to unlock it so that I can change the width and height by itself. So I'll set it to 250 to 250 and then I can lock it. So if I wanted to make it bigger, it'll stay a square. If I wanted to make it 300, it's still a square, uh, but we'll leave it at 250. So now I want to fill it with the product image. So I go to fill, add image, and the product image is here, social media icons, final packages, pop art social media icon, and this one right here. And I'm going to scale to fill and just position it at the top because I don't want the bottom of this image. I just want the bottom that has some blue and some other stuff there. I just want it like right there. Uh, so as you can see, I kind of, it's not no longer a square, but I started off with a square, but then I fitted it so that it fits this um, product image nicely. Okay, and then I'll take off the stroke off this rectangle, and there we go. So there's our product image, and now we want to insert that buy now button. Um, so to do that, to insert the, the PayPal buy, buy now button, you go to object, insert widget, social, and PayPal. So again, it's object, insert widget, social, and PayPal. And then we get that button there. We can place it anywhere, and then we can move the button. I'm going to move it right underneath uh, this product image and center it below the product image. We get that nice blue line to let us know it's centered within uh, that rectangle or this image here. Um, so very good. Uh, so now I want to add some options to this buy now button. If you click on the buy now button, you get this uh, blue circle with an arrow. You just click there and you can make the type uh, buy now, pay now, donate, add to cart or view cart. Okay, you can make the size large or small. Excuse me. And here is your PayPal email. Um, it's going to type in john at muse4ushop.com. And amount is where you set the amount. So I'm going to set it to $8 uh, there. Currency, you can have a different currency for it. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the US, so I'm going to uh, do US dollars. And then item name is pretty important because this is what people will see on their invoice or receipt after they pay for the item. And they'll see this before they pay for the item. So you want to title it something that relates to the product. I'm going to title it uh, Pop Art uh, Social Media Icon Pack. And item number is pretty important to stay organized. Um, you know, you want to uh, label your different products a different item number. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't think it matters if you have the same item number on uh, two of the product. Two, excuse me, two of the products. Um, but then again, you, you might not want to do that because if somebody buys, you know, another item, you don't want them to have the same item number and it might make a difference. Um, I won't kind of experiment with that, but yeah, just to stay organized, maybe just number your uh, products like one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Uh, you can set the tax rate um, to whatever the tax rate is for your state or whatever you want to charge for the tax rate. And if your product uh, requires any shipping costs. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, now if I preview this in the browser, if I hit Command Shift E, uh, you can see I have my site, we have this uh, kind of scroll effect here where the image stays in place. And then we have our product. <clears throat> and uh, to buy it or to purchase it, you just click buy now. And you have the title, uh, pop art social media icon pack, item numbers one. And in price is eight, quantity one, and so on. And tax is sixty-eight cents. Uh, item total is eight. Tax is sixty-eight cents, and total comes out to eight sixty-eight. And again, they can pay with PayPal, or they can create their PayPal account and create with debit or credit card. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, after they put in their credit card information, it says agree and create a, an account. So 
uh, yeah, they will create an account after they use their debit or credit card. And it's going to john at museforyeshop.com and all the payments will go to, to this PayPal account. So, um, yep, there we go. All right, so that's pretty much it. And just to show you, like, I'm just gonna duplicate this button or just this product. And if I duplicate it, and this buy now button has the same properties as this first one. Um, it'll still work, so if I hit Command Shift E and I click on buy now, uh, it's still gonna give me the item number is one. But if I change the item number to two, and I hit Command Shift E, and I click Buy Now, the item number is now two. Yeah, and this is just a nice way to stay organized within your uh, invoices and your uh, payments in your PayPal account, uh, just to just so you can see which product the the person has purchased. You might be able to tell if you change kind of like the the item name here to like icon pack two. Uh, but again, yes, yeah, just I think a, a good practice to have your different products have a different item number. Um, okay, I won't harp too much on that, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on creating an online store in Adobe Muse. And again, you can style it pretty much any way you want and make, the, make it this really cool online store that'll make anyone wanna buy something from your online store. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.